Hello students, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, let us continue with the third session of endocrine system. Now this endocrine system as we have already discussed it is comprised of different types of glands and these glands they are responsible uh, for the secretion of hormones and hormones they play a very important role in the control and coordination process of our body. In fact, we can say that the development, the coordination, the control, the regulation of different functions, it is also controlled or it is performed by the endocrine system. You know the another system that is uh, uh, controlling the same function or it is which is performing the same function? It is the nervous system. Exactly. Correct. So now let us just see that uh, the uh, glands which we have not discussed in the earlier session. Let us find up uh, that in the in this particular session. See the diagram. Uh, it is clear that these are the uh, different glands that we have discussed earlier. Uh, the one which is located in this uh, uh, skull or in the cranial cavity that is inside the brain actually. Uh, they were hypothalamus. It was pineal body and the pituitary gland. Then as we move down in our body, the other the uh, glands which we have discussed, they are yes. The thyroid glands, parathyroid glands and the thymus. And further we discussed about the uh, adrenal glands and the pancreas. Pancreas, you remember, it can serve as both endocrine as well as uh, exocrine or, uh, gland. Fine. Uh, now further, uh, let us say the another gland uh, is ovary and testes. This is what we will discuss in today's session. Now, students, please don't get confused that I have uh, marked or I placed, uh, I've shown the two structures, that is the ovary and testes, in the same diagram. But these uh, organisms, the human beings, they are unisexual. Either they are having the ovary or they are having the testes. That means the sexes are located on separate individual bodies. But just to represent and make the thing quite easy, I have just placed it in the same diagram so that we can compare it quite in a better way. Now, uh, ovary is present in the female organism and uh, this ovary is actually secreting out different types of function, uh, hormones. Uh, you know where this ovary is located? It is located in the lower abdominal side. See, this is the lower abdomen of our body and towards the bottom side, these ovaries are present. Can you see these specific structures here? Which I have labeled, of course, here that uh, which is attached to the uterus of this female. This uh, structure is a uh, uterus to which this ovary is actually attached, and it is in uh, contact or it is uh, uh, releasing out the eggs which are received out by the uh, this thing, uh, the fallopian tube. Fine. Now, uh, ovary is uh, secreting the hormones like uh, estrogen. It is secreting the hormone progesterone, then the relaxin. Uh, these are the main hormones which are secreted by the ovary. Fine. So, you know what are the functions of estrogen and progesterone? These estrogen and progesterone are controlling the uh, female characteristics. Right. It is controlling the secondary growth in a female organism. Now, what are those characteristics which develops during the secondary growth in the female? They are like, uh, let us say, the development of hairs in the different body parts, like the facial hairs or the uh, hairs in the underarms, right? Or that is in the armpits or on the limbs of an organism, then in the genital area. All these are the effect of the uh, hormone that is secreted by the ovary. Fine. Uh, besides that, it helps in the development of uh, uterus. Fine. So that it can uh, actually help in the or it can receive, it can support the implantation of uh, uh, zygote and it can even support the development of embryo over there. So such type of uh, strengthening of uterus is the, another function of the hormone that is progesterone. Right. Uh, the other hormone I just uh, mentioned here is the relaxin. And this relaxin is actually uh, secreted uh, uh, at the end of pregnant uh, pregnancy. Uh, you know, uh, at the uh, end of nine months of pregnancy, what happens? The child is going to be delivered. Right. And for that, the contraction and relaxation of our uh, uh, uterine muscles occurs. The muscles which are uh, associated with the pelvic uh, region, 
even they get uh, uh, relaxed so that the delivery can become easy so such type of relaxation is actually the function of the hormone relaxin now of course it occurs only during the uh, end of the pregnancy fine uh, the next uh, uh, gonad or the next uh, gland is the testis which is present in the males where is it located in the male body there is a scrotum and that scrotum is the site where a pair of testes is present even ovary is present in the pair only fine so now this testes is having uh, uh, different uh, uh, compartments inside and these compartments are having the specific cells which are known as the interstitial cells see in the testes there are the there are many uh, lobes or there are there are many compartments there are many tubules the seminiferous tubules right and in between these tubules the interstitial cells are present and these interstitial cells are responsible for the secretion of hormone testosterone so in this uh, male body this testosterone is serving as a uh, hormone which is supporting the functions which is something similar to that of a uh, uh, function of the ovary in the female body that means it is supporting the secondary growth of a male organism now what type of characteristics will develop during the secondary growth in the males it is something related to the uh, uh, hair development in the different body parts which is quite similar to that in the female uh, the difference is that the uh, development of facial hair is quite more or development of hair is quite more in the male as compared to that in the female then the oily skin development of pimples acne all these are the common features in the males as well as in the females now the specific feature which is supported by this hormone that is testosterone uh, is the uh, secretion of uh, sperms the development of the sperms so this type of uh, uh, this particular hormone is actually supporting the production of the sperms in the ovary uh, estrogen and progesterone is uh, also supporting the production of the uh, this uh, uh, eggs over there but it is not this uh, this particular hormone which is actually releasing it is uh, not like secretion is basically because of the hormones which are secreted by the uh, pituitary gland fine so over estrogen and progesterone they are supporting the uh, implantation of these uh, of the fertilized egg right now let us come back to this now this sperm production is basically supported by the uh, testosterone so these are the major functions of uh, the secretions of these particular uh, glands in our body right so all this is actually about the endocrine system and at the end of course one thing i would like to repeat is that all these uh, functions are actually regulated by the hormones which are released by the pituitary gland and this is the reason that why we are calling it as the master gland fine so we'll come back with some new session with new topic in some another session till then have a nice day thank you so much goodbye